So this is a new one for me. I was supposed to meet my aunt for lunch in Denver, but apparently there was a really major accident and at first I was stuck in standstill traffic for 30 minutes and now we are slowly inching forward, but the nearest exit is in for two and a half miles and I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to get there. So I'm just gonna go home as soon as I can, but I'm literally 30 minutes from the house and my GPS is saying it's gonna take me upwards of two hours, so that's fun. Today is move out day, which is very bittersweet. We don't technically close on the house until Tuesday and it's Sunday, but we have all the cleaners coming tomorrow, so we're trying to get everything out of the house today. And then we're checking into an Airbnb where we will be staying for at least the next three weeks. And then hopefully we can hit the road to go to Alaska, but that's still up in the air. Things are very chaotic when the military is involved and we can't really officially start moving until my husband Solomon gets orders and we haven't received those yet. So we're just patiently waiting for updates. Our situation is a little bit weird too because we sold the house and we tried to give ourselves a buffer because we didn't know how quickly it would sell or how long it would sit on the market for. It sold really fast, which is awesome. Um, but then we had to start packing and figure out where to put all of our furniture and belongings. And um, I guess with our current situation, the military people that we spoke with said if we hire movers or do anything related to transporting our possessions to Alaska that we will pay out of pocket and they will not reimburse us. And that would be very expensive. So we're putting everything into a storage unit temporarily. And then once we have orders and know that the military will pay for us to move, I think the plan is to do it like a U-Pack situation where we will put everything onto a truck and then they will ship it to Alaska, they can store it if there's a delay with housing. It's just a little frustrating because we were counting on the military being the ones to actually pack and move everything and now we've had to do it ourselves and thankfully we have had a little over a month to do that and I am pretty impressed that Solomon and I have packed up and moved the entire house, just the two of us and it is all going to fit in the storage unit, which is exciting. Um, yeah, it was our last night in the house last night. Um, we really didn't do anything super special. A hailstorm blew through at one point, so we sat on the last few pieces of furniture we have that are actually just getting um, junked, but we sat on those in the garage and watched the storm and saw them and had a nice cigar to celebrate. And then we ordered food from a local Mexican place and had a bunch of tacos, which was really yummy. So it was a fun night. It'll be interesting to see how the dog does in an Airbnb um, because it is like a basement apartment setup. Um, so we'll see how he does. Solomon's excited because his commute will be a little bit shorter for the next couple weeks. But for now, I need to focus on getting home. Um, whenever that's going to happen. Closing day is tomorrow and I'm back in the house one last time. Um, we have some cleaners coming today and I needed to grab a few things that we could not bring with us to the Airbnb yesterday. Um, I had a meltdown last night, the first moving meltdown. I'm sure there will be more to come. I think it was just a really long day. There were some emotional ups and downs. I was really frustrated that I ended up sitting in traffic for over three hours and did not get to see my aunt for lunch because we just had too much to do and I had to turn around. And yeah, the Airbnb is fine so far. Um, the fridge is not working. 
So I'm not sure yet what the resolution is gonna be for that. Um, we've let the people know, so we're kind of waiting for an update. But that was really frustrating. And then the dog is just, you know, getting used to the new environment. So he was kind of out of his normal routine. And yeah, I just had a little meltdown. I feel like I kind of took for granted this house and how nice it is and just our normal routines and change is always weird and hard and I'm trying to be like forgiving with myself with the dog you know with Solomon because it's just all new for us and yeah we're gonna get through it I'm feeling better today I'm hopeful that um, tonight's gonna go better so I'll be here most of the day and then we will be back in the Airbnb and this is my last time seeing the house. It's totally empty, so it's really echoey and weird. It's closing day and we officially sold the house. Everything is signed, sealed, and delivered, which is very exciting. So I think I'm going to try to find a mini bottle of champagne to celebrate tonight because I don't really like champagne, but Salmon does. And it's definitely worth celebrating. Still don't have a working fridge, which is a little frustrating. Um, but I guess maintenance has been called, so hopefully they get that fixed this week. Um, in the meantime, we have a cooler with ice that we're using, so that is doing the job for now. Last night was much better. We all slept through the night. I did not have a meltdown, which is great. So I think I'm gonna get like a prepaid month at the local rock climbing gym, because now we're only like 10 minutes from there. And then I should be able to do their um, yoga classes and use the gym. And I'm actually gonna try to go to a yoga class tonight. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think it'll be good to have something active to break up the day. Today is a good day.